Sagittarius. Welcome to February. Um, so I'm going to go back to the way I used to kind of do readings where I just randomly pull cards and we see what pops up because last month, even though there were a lot of really amazing things with your crystal of the month, you know, with chakras to work on, blah, blah, blah. Um, I do want to give you that information, but I wanted to keep these videos a little bit shorter since I also want to make love reading videos for February since it's Valentine's Day. And so I haven't decided yet if I will make a video with all of that extra information or if I will send that out by email or um, post it on Facebook. Either way, I'm going to get it to you. But for now, we're just going to focus on what's up for February. So we've got the uh, High Priestess in reverse. So your spirituality may not be your biggest focus, and you may not be as connected as usual to your um, source energy as you often are, which is going to make it challenging for you to stay balanced. You might be, you know, kind of really positive one minute, really negative the next minute. And that's just kind of the vibe for February. They're saying the thing is that a lot of things are shifting and moving and changing. And so, you know, you're moving from this place where you've acquired a lot of knowledge recently, whether that is in relationships or whether that is, you know, through work, just life lessons in general. And when those used to be kind of stuffed in your subconscious, they're now brought to the surface. And you're taking that information and you're learning your lessons and you're kind of moving to this place of more calm and balanced emotion. Um, but there might be episodic flare-ups of, you know, like a lot of bliss versus a lot of regret or remorse or sadness here and there. So that's totally normal for you until you reestablish that connection with, you know, whatever your spirituality is, whether you know, that's with the universe in general, whether you do that through meditation or walking or, you know, prayer, whatever, um, that's going to be something that's important to you. Because the thing is, despite all of this stuff that you have learned and all of this effort that you've made, you know, maybe in January to start moving in a certain direction in which you'll be more calm, more balanced, you know, kind of escaping a certain situation, whether that's a relationship or a job or, you know, even a responsibility. These things are good for you, but there are still things that um, you haven't quite decided on. You don't know what you're going to do next. And it's not because the answers are not available to you. It's more because you don't want to have to think about it anymore. You're just like, I don't want to have to decide. A part of you is kind of just waiting to see how things play out. Um, and so, you know, it's like, just going to see what happens and if the universe makes a decision for me. But you have to understand that indecision is still a decision that you're making. And, you know, the universe might make a decision for you that is not as good as the one you would make for yourself. So just keep that in mind. Um, they're saying the way to remedy this is, again, with that two energy of the high priestess, of, you know, maybe just saying, okay, things have been challenging. I have to figure out how to balance, and I am putting, you know, my hands up again and again, and I am asking the universe, God, Allah, spirit, angels, whatever, to please help me, <laughs> you know, please give me the insight, the awareness, and this will come to you through your intuition. Um, so everybody has a different, you know, heightened ability. Everybody at their core is a psychic human being. Um, we are not humans having spiritual experiences, we are spirits having human experiences. But that being said, just like some people are really good at painting or singing, some people are really good at hearing messages, some people are just clear cognizant where they have like this like knowing and they don't know why. Um, some people see visions or dreams. So whatever your inherent ability is um, will be different from, you know, case by case basis. But Anyway, uh, however you receive those messages, be paying attention because the answers will come to you and that will relieve any stress or anxiety that you would otherwise have had you not turned to spirit and asked for answers. Now, maybe a part of the reason why you're not really loving this idea that you have to make a decision in one direction or another is because neither outcome has, you know, 100% like love vibe attached to it. You don't love either option 100% 
completely. It, it, like everything has pros and cons, right? And so in having to sort through that and say, what is better? What is worse? You know, like, do I want to focus on the short-term benefit or the long-term benefit? Is the reason why you're pushing this to the side in the first place? Because if it was clear that one thing would lead to an overabundance of joy, love, contentment, happiness, you'd just do it, right? You wouldn't be afraid to have to make this decision. So it's really going to be important that you turn to spirit for guidance um, in relation to this specific issue or decision that you have to make about how you're going to move forward. And so they're saying positive thinking is really, really important. Um, you should ask your spirit guides, God, whatever, to help you purge any negative thinking from your thoughts. You don't want to indulge in resentment, blame, hurt. For a moment, it kind of feels good to, you know, say, mm, not my fault yours. Uh, but it doesn't really help you in the long term because then you're going to start to ruminate on that and it doesn't hurt the other person. It just hurts you. You're the one who has to feel that sentiment. And so, um, you know, you, you want to just ask, may my life be free of destructive patterns? May it be free of bad habits, of carelessness? You know, you want to ask, for guidance to help you figure this out. And you want to focus your attention on what you're about to build as a result of the changes that you're making and, you know, frame everything as a new beginning. And so they're saying also that your communication is going to be really, really important. Your communication with other people, your communication with the divine. And they're saying, you know, a good affirmation for you is I believe that every single problem does have a resolution and it might not be a hundred percent positive, but it does have a resolution. So I should listen carefully to other people and to other points of views. And, um, you know, basically, love is the goal at the end of the day. How are you going to show love to yourself and to other people in the decisions that you make? And, you know, you can just say, okay, I am deciding right now that any failures or disappointments, they're behind me. That's the past. I'm creating something new moving forward. So... That, my darlings, is February. I look forward to giving you your love readings and um, all that extra information. And oh shit, I was gonna tell you, sorry for my language. Um, your unluckiest day this month is the 5th, and then your luckiest day this month is the 10th of February. Okay, bye. Thanks so much for watching this video and getting all the way to the end of it. I really appreciate your support. If you are interested in other videos, click here. If you are interested in subscribing, go ahead and click here. Hit that notification bell so that you get alerted to when new videos come out and also when I do surprise live streams. And then if you're interested in winning a free 20-minute video uh, reading personally every month, go ahead and click right here. Mwah!